Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a fun project to share with you that features the beautiful new Hibiscus Bloom die. This just came out in the latest Crafty Hugs release with Simon Says Stamp. And I'm gonna die cut this Hibiscus Bloom into some Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm using 80 pound. I, I thought in my mind I needed two die cuts. So that's why I have two here. I really only needed one. So now I have an extra. Maybe I'll make two of these cards. Uh, I'm carefully removing the petals using my retractable needle tool. I'm gonna add color to the petals using distress inks and blending it on. Now I took some tape runner and I'm just temporarily adhering the petals to some scratch paper. That way I can blend away without, uh, sometimes when I'm blending little pieces like this, my fingers get in the way. You know, it's like I can't get, I can't get all the blended parts because my fingers. So I tape them down and then I did a little Google search uh, about hibiscus. Do you say hibiscuses? Probably not. But I wanted to get my mojo flowing on some colors. Not that you have to be realistic. You know what I mean? In card making, you can do whatever you want. But I did see some gorgeous two-toned where they're kind of orangey in the middle and then the, on the outer edge, they're like very pink and red and fuchsia and I just was like loving that. So that's what I'm gonna try to emulate here. So I'm starting with Distress Inks. On the inner part of the petal, I did a little Spice Marmalade. And then on the outer part of the petal, I started with Worn Lipstick. And now I'm gonna start amping up the vibrancy. So I'm adding some Picked Raspberry and I'm just blending just a dab of Picked Raspberry on one side of the petal. I don't wanna cover the whole thing cause I like that gradient goodness, but I wanna amp up the vibrancy so it's got a little kick to it. And so a little bit of Picked Raspberry here and there, little dab will do ya. And then once I get Picked Raspberry, I'm gonna add a smidge of Candied Apple and that really lights up the fire. By the way, I did just Google the plural of hibiscus and guess what you're not gonna believe it it actually is hibiscuses did you guys know that did you know the plural of hibiscus was hibiscuses i did not it actually took me by surprise because for whatever reason i thought the plural would be hibiscus i was thinking of cactus and cacti uh, but you know what honestly i think you could say either one i think you can say hibiscuses or hibiscus and you could say cactuses or cacti you can say tomato tomato potato Potato, let's call the whole thing off. And that will conclude today's lesson on the anatomy of hibiscus. There's more here. Like I think there's more anatomy in this card like stamen and pistol and stigma and style. And I'm just gonna like steer clear cause I'm pretty sure I'm botching it up. I'm gonna stick to what I know and what I love which is twisted citron and crushed olive distressing for the leaves. Again, I used some tape runner to temporarily adhere these tiny little leaves down so I could ink blend them very easily. And then now this little part here, what's it called? Is it the stamen or the pistol? Whatever, I did that with squeezed lemonade and mustard seed. Now I had popped up a panel of some ivory cardstock on a white card base. I'm doing little dots of glue here and there just to adhere this hibiscus outline die cut down. I don't want it completely adhered. I like it to have a little lift here and there. And then I'm gonna piece in these ink blended petals using a little Gina K connect glue. I just put a little bit on the inner part of the petal because I want the outer part of the petal to kind of curl up and lift. And I'm trying to figure out where these petals go. It's like putting together a puzzle, but I love how the edges kind of curl up. And this whole thing has a lot of lift to it. I didn't use any foam tape, but uh, just a little curling, just a little curling of the cardstock. And um, now I, I'm gonna tell you what, there were a lot of leaves and they're very um, similar in shape. And I'm pretty sure I didn't get each leaf where it's actually supposed to go. And I wasn't about to spend all day trying to figure that out. So you know what, it's very forgiving. They're all kind of similar in shape, but um, like you don't have to get it exact. You know what I'm saying? Just fake it till you make it. And there you have this most gorgeous, gradient, colorful hibiscus. Now for the sentiment, I pulled out an older one, an oldie but a goodie. This is Kathy Zilski's Love You Two Word Die. I did the outer in vellum and then the inner with some Tim Holtz. Oh, this is a metallic cardstock, but it's not gold. It's kind of a rose gold. It's glorious. And then I did three more out of white to stack them up, make it nice and dimensional. I'm using some more liquid glue. 
So let's have a little chat about adhesive, shall we? Okay, right now I'm using a tube of Gina K Connect and I love it, highly recommend. It has not clogged on me, not one time. And when, when tubes of glue clog, that just chaps my khakis. Before this, I was using Lawn Fawn and it worked great as well. Before that, I used Tombow Mono, which I used Tombow Mono liquid glue for years. I also used to use back in the day, uh, spray adhesive, Elmer's spray adhesive. And I haven't bought any of that since I lived in Germany. And I gotta tell you, I miss sniffing those fumes. I re I'm just joking, but not really. I kind of actually like the smell of it, but haven't done it in a long time. Now I adhered the word die cut to the vellum. I did put some strips of foam tape behind the vellum strategically so you can't see it, but it pops up the love you because dimension is life. And then to finish it off, I added a few sparkling clear sequins here and there. I love sparkling clear because it sparkles, but it's clear. You know what I mean? It's like not distracting, but it's, it's just, it just gives it that something something that you're craving and this card is finished i hope you enjoyed this video just very informative on glues and hibiscuses and hibisci thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful day and i will see you next time